And all right, we're back in studio this morning with Paula Ames of Cake Creations. And we're talking about delicious, sweet creations this mm -hmm. morning. And this is what's really cool. We were just commenting on how wonderful these little flowers look. These are actually made, this one's made of sugar. Mm -hmm. It's made out of gum paste, which okay. is an edible dough. Okay. Oh and then this one is uh, white chocolate, you said? It's white chocolate. White yeah. chocolate. Mm. And it looks incredibly edible. I already asked if I could eat it, and she said I could. <laughs> and so later in the show, I'm going to eat that because... <laughs> I don't know, 6.15 seems really early to eat a lot of sugar. 6.35 doesn't seem as early. Most people would think you eat a lot of sugar, I think. So. I'm sure, I'm sure. All right, so this is what our goal is that we're going to be creating, Paula, right? This is, right. Tell, me, tell us a little bit about this cake. This cake is for you guys. So it's a white cake with strawberry so filling. Nice. Yeah. But, and then the, the flowers on top are made with buttercream. And that's what you guys are going to make today is a buttercream rose. Okay. okay. How, how intricate and how hard is this for somebody like Brandy to learn? Um, somebody like Brandy, probably not very hard. <laughs> somebody like me? Probably, Thanks, probably pretty hard. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So, so, and this is a very intricate way to decorate a cake, but it's pretty easy to do. If you, if this, if you learn the skill, you can do something like this. Right. This or is this for like an expert like you? No, this, this only took me about 20 minutes. Okay. okay. So somebody like us <laughs> would be about 40. We can do okay. this in an hour. Okay, we got an hour right. show. This will be fine. Uh, tell us a little bit about what makes the buttercream frosting. How do you put that together? Um, buttercream frosting is literally butter and cream and sugar. Okay. Mm. So... And, but that's why you guys aren't going to use that because it won't react from the heat of your hand. Okay. So you have to be really fast. What kind of consistency are you looking for when you're frosting a cake like this and you're trying to do some intricate flowers? When, you, when you're doing flowers, you want to have a stiff consistency. When you're icing the cake, you want to have a thin consistency. Okay. okay. So uh, let's have you demonstrate how to do one of these okay. uh, flowers first. <laughs> Okay, so you have two piping bags, and one has this round tip on it. Okay. And because this is royal icing, it's covered in this wet cloth so it doesn't dry out in the tip. Okay. So you just want to put a tiny little bit on your flower nail, which is this not is a, a weapon. Okay, I had to ask about this. The flower nail, not a weapon. Where can you pick up these flower <laughs> nails? Just like at, a, at a bakery store? You, you can get them just at your craft store. You can get okay. them online, and then put a little piece of wax paper on. Okay. The first thing you're going to do is make kind of like, almost like a Hershey's Kiss looking thing. Okay. And just bring it up like that. Okay. And then you'll use your other tip, which has, you'll see, I'm going to show you because I know she knows. Brandy's already had this class, <laughs> which makes me kind of mad. It's fatter on one end and skinnier on the other. Okay, kind of like a teardrop. <clears throat> well, kind of. Okay. So then you want to touch the fat end to the bottom. Okay. And rolling the thing around in your fingers, wrap it around like that. Okay. And then you want to go three petals around that. It's hot in here. That's why it's. It is. Why tiny. three petals? This is so hot in here. Because that's why. That's how roses goes. You will do three, then five, then seven. Oh. Mm. So, and you want to make sure the petals overlap. That's been my problem. I've been doing even numbers. Right. The odds. That's right. why mine didn't ever turn out. I'm sure. And so, you know, you'll just keep going around. Okay. Like this, until you have a full rose. The, the real talent is that you're able to squeeze this and turn that at the same time. I think that takes the real talent. That is not. <laughs> well, Brandy, Brandy, you agree with me? You can chew gum and walk. I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this is a hard skill for, for men to do. All right, and then how big can you make it? Because these ones are a little bit bigger. This one, how, how yeah. far are you going to keep going around? Um, as, as much support as the flower nail will provide. So the bigger the flower nail you have, the bigger you can make it. Now, what would you do if I went like this? Oh. Um, I, would, I would go like this. It. All right, so a little later in the show, we're actually going to uh, try our hand at doing this. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, cake creations, and Paula's going to tell us about if you're planning your wedding, because a lot of people are starting to get engaged, yes. your friend just got engaged, Brandy. She did, yeah, Callie. So, throw it out there, <laughs> Callie. Let's do it out. Callie, Callie, you got engaged. <laughs> Callie Blue Boy. Uh, how, how, how early you have to start planning your, uh, your cake, because that's a big part of the wedding, is one to make sure you have that perfect cake. We'll talk about all that coming up a little bit later in the show.